Aloha, everyone. My name is Wayne Tribal, and I'll be pre presenting our stereo matching data set, CATS, which stands for Color and Thermal Stereo. Shown is a brief outline of my talk. We have developed the CATS data set out of a need for it ourselves. We found that there were no large-scale existing uh, thermal or thermal-to-color stereo data sets to compare existing matching methods or any novel methods we wanted to test. Therefore, we decided to take on the challenge of building it from the ground up. In order to take the data, we needed a standard setup method for obtaining all of the image pairs and the ground truth depth in each scene. We used a four-camera setup, all with a common baseline. Two cameras were Xenix Gobi long-wave infrared cameras that capture, th capture thermal imagery at 640 by 480 resolution, and two cameras were Point Grey Flea 2G visible band cameras capturing at 1280 by 960 resolution. Finally, we, ob we obtained ground truth depth data using a high-precision Trimble GX Advanced LiDAR. From this setup, we captured approximately 1,400 total images of 100 indoor and 80 outdoor scenes. CATS contains 48 scenes with pedestrians, multiple scenes with fog and lighting changes, over 100 distinct objects, 18 object sets, and approximately 300 ground truth points per stereo image pair. Also, we also designed CATS to take different scene attributes into play that highlight the usefulness of using thermal imagery. This included taking images in dark or low light scenarios as well as foggy scenes where thermal imagery is invariant. Also included are over 190 images of pedestrians because thermal cameras also aid in pedestrian detection applications. The following slide consists of a short comparison between CATS and other data sets such as Middlebury and Kitty. CATS has a comparable size to other color-to-color -color stereo data sets. However, it is unique in that it also has thermal-to-thermal -thermal and color-to-thermal -thermal image pairs for each scene as well as the dense ground truth. Of data sets that include thermal images, few have dense ground truth and usually don't have thermal-to-thermal -thermal stereo pairs. CATS also has more scene diversity than many current data sets, with both indoor and outdoor scenes conti containing a variety of distinct objects. Shown here is an example of indoor CATS imagery. The left and right color rectified images are shown with their corresponding disparity map. Many of the indoor scenes were taken in a tabletop setting with various object arrangements. However, there are also indoor scenes in other settings as well. This slide shows an example of the various lighting levels for each scene. The next slide shows an example of foggy scenes in the data set. The next slide shows an example of outdoor cat's imagery. And as you can see in this image, here I am cracking open a cold one with the boys. As a baseline for comparison, we ran some of the top performing stereo algorithms from the Kitty benchmark on the color to color, color to thermal, and thermal to thermal images in CATS. We included different metrics like point density, mean error in pixels, and accuracy with different lighting and fog levels. Because all these methods, methods are color to color matching algorithms, they perform poorly on both of the sets involving thermal images as expected. <laughs> We introduced CATS to add to the corpus of existing stereo matching data sets. We introduced a data set that not only has color image pairs, but also thermal and cross-modality pairs as well. At this time, I would like to invite you to come visit me at the poster session for more information about the data set that wasn't covered in the talk. We hope that CATS is a useful tool for the community in developing new matching techniques across multiple modalities and to improve or adapt existing methods. Thank you for your time.